Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Melanie and I am super jazzed to be here as always. Today I am going to be sharing with you my March monthly spread in my 2021 bullet journal. If you are new to my plan with me's, I've divided my whole bullet journal up into the seasons, which means March represents the first month of our spring season. It is very exciting. We are on the other side of Imbolc, which means the days are getting longer. The sun is coming back. And I actually woke up the other morning and heard some chickadees outside, which is a telltale sign of springtime. I haven't done my spring page setup yet. I will be releasing another video a little later on in the month of March where I show and share my garden spread, which is how I track when I sow and when seeds germinate and when things are getting planted out in the garden so stay tuned for a second video this month all around planning it will include my spring trackers and my general spring layout I do it this way because it keeps me really grounded with the cycles and seasons of life and I wanted to try something a little different I also enjoy how it inspires my layouts and my spreads trying to pull in very specific aspects of nature from each of the seasons it really increases the uh, focus I have on observing nature around me. When do the dandelions come out? When are the bees really busy? It's just a really cool way for me to kind of stay grounded in nature's natural rhythms. I have to apologize for the filming of this video. When I got into drawing this March spread, I kind of zoned out and didn't pay attention to the fact that my top knot was blocking the shot in several of these clips. So I apologize, bear with me. It gets out of the way and you can see what I'm doing. So you're not gonna be stuck looking at my hair the whole time. I was also sitting in my bedroom, which means I was using natural light, and it turned out to be a really sunny, gorgeous day. So sometimes the image gets really, really bright because of the sunshine, but hopefully you guys can look past that and still enjoy my March spread. It was a little all over the place because I was really into drawing and sort of forgot that I was filming. <laughs> The first thing I want to show you guys is these new felts that I've got. Obviously, this is a pretty big pack. They are double-sided with brush end as well as a fine tip pen side. Um, and I also got this other pack that is basically a skin tone set, meaning it has a wide array of beiges and browns. I'll show you the actual swatch pad. I wanted something that had a lot of warm colors in it and a lot of natural tones because I tend to lean towards those in my spreads. To start with, we're going to select basically every color of green I have. So I am using three of my Tombow markers as well as a bunch of the new markers I got. I'll put the name of the markers I picked up in the description below or on the screen somewhere so you guys can look into them if you'd like. I just got them off of Amazon. As always, I think it's important to swatch test uh, the color palette so that I know what greens go good together. Once I've chosen all of my colors, some of my washi tape, and a few images I might want to use, I get started right away on the March calendar. I made this calendar significantly smaller than any of the other calendars I've made before because I'm finding that I'm not using the calendar page or filling in the individual squares as much as I used to think I would. So I decreased the size of the calendar significantly. That also allotted for a lot more room for these plants, which is a big focus of this whole spread. I wanted to start bringing in some color and some greenery into my bullet journal spreads. So I was really excited to be able to include some foliage. 
It's a pretty drawing heavy spread, so I did want to go through the entire spread with pencil first and decide optimal layout. I really enjoy when things are symmetrical, so it's important to me to put some intended effort to making things lay well on the page. Honestly, I don't know how people go in with pen first. The idea of that gives me a minor panic attack. I often put my tarot card of the month on a separate page, but because I did the calendar so much smaller than I normally do, I was able to fit my tarot card for March on the calendar page itself. I mimicked the title of March, at the bottom with my temperance title and I included the keywords and key phrases of the tarot card to spur and spark my own kind of associations with the tarot card. I really liked how it turned out. I like that it mirrors my March title and I think it balances out the flowers on the sides of the pages having some greenery at the top and the bottom. Once everything is penciled in on my March calendar page, I go in with some colors. You're going to have to excuse my mess of a hair situation that's happening. Like I said at the beginning, I zoned right out and got really into filling this page in because I was excited with all of my colors. So I am sorry for that. <laughs> I often lean towards having one or two key colors that are complementary and having a majority neutral tone spread. But when March came around, I knew I wanted to get into the swing of spring. So I decided to really go all out with the greens. I wanted to keep it in a relatively contained color palette. So it is all greens and a little bit of yellow for some brightness and contrast, but that was a little outside of my comfort zone to do a whole spread that included bright colors. Just feel around. Feel around. I'll be honest, this whole spread was a spread that I didn't really enjoy while I was making it. I thought the colors were too bright. I was uncomfortable with how intense the yellow was. I even ended up going back over it with an orange to try and tone it down. In the end, I end up really, really enjoying this spread, but it was a bumpy process to get to the point where I was happy with it. I'm just not used to this much color, I don't think, and I do really enjoy it, and green is one of my favorite colors, and I'm happy with how it turned out, but in the moment, I wasn't certain that it was gonna work. <laughs> I cut out this image from my Wee Moon 2020 calendar. So it is like a little journal book that has all of the moon phases and et cetera, et cetera. If you're not someone who wants to put the effort into making your own bullet journal, I would highly recommend this book. I was given it from a friend of mine and it has so many beautiful poems and a lot of awesome imagery. It even has inserts and excerpts and all these little inclusions of sabbats and more pagan oriented rituals and attention to natural cycles which is really awesome for me and i really appreciate so i get a lot of use out of the pages even though it's for 2020 i cut a lot of things out and will put them in my bullet journal that's what i did with this image and i've based march's whole spread off of the colors and the vibe of this really cute girl with a backpack and all her plants growing out of it. So I'll be gluing that down on this page and then cutting in a Dutch door around it. Mm -hmm. 
Once I cut out the Dutch door, I wrote in the videos that I want to complete for the month, as well as the training that I want to get done with Ripley. I left some space at the bottom of the page where I will be including a quote or a saying. I just haven't found one that I wanted to use yet. With the calendar page done, my videos written down, and my training I want to get done with Ripley, I flip over the Dutch door and I start doing my rolling weeklies. I decided to split my week into two vertical columns. At the bottom of the page, I divided it right in half. I wanted to see if I enjoyed how it turned out when I filled it in a little bit differently, and I wanted to provide some room for me to include some pretty foliage and have some nice imagery on this page as well, just to make it fit in with the theme of March. So on the back side of my Dutch door, I just did a very simple vertical spread for an entire week. I've not decided on a specific way I enjoy doing my rolling weeklies. So what I wanted to do with March was give myself three different kinds of weekly spreads to do a little bit of a comparison. I don't like creating a set week kind of calendar style. I like the freedom of being able to create more space between the different dates or add in different sections for notes as I go. So if you have suggestions for good rolling weekly spreads, then let me know how you lay those out in the comments below. I would appreciate some input. For now, I'm going to try these three different kind of styles out the singular column right down the Dutch door page, then the two separate columns, and then dividing the page in half with a little bit more room for spontaneous note taking. So obviously I had to pretty up the rolling weekly spreads. So I did some washi tape on the backside of the Dutch door, traced it out with some nice pale yellow, and then went in with my green tones to divide up the other two styles of rolling weeklies. I wanted to hide the foliage underneath the Dutch door so that it didn't kind of make the page too busy when the Dutch door laid flat because there's so much foliage on the March calendar page. I wanted to keep the rolling above the half of the Dutch door fairly simple so it didn't get all too busy. Plus it's kind of a nice surprise when you flip over the Dutch door to see all these pretty flowers or plants. I guess they're not flowers, they're just plants. That is it for my March monthly spread. I hope you guys enjoyed some of the green foliage and all of the color. At the end of the day, I do really enjoy the spread, but like I said, it took me a while to get on board with having so much color going on. The bright yellow threw me for a loop, but at the end of the day, when I look at the whole spread, I am very happy with it. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I am going to be releasing another plan with me all around seed starting, planting, germination times, and how I track all of my garden progress for 2021. I am really excited to do my general spring trackers and start this next chapter of 2021 with the sun coming and the birds coming back. I can really feel that spring is around the corner, so make sure you stay tuned so you can see the springtime pagan plan with me. As always, I hope you have a fantastic month, live long and prosper, and I will see you guys very shortly with another video. Bye-bye.